Hello everybody. Since you asked me a plenty of questions of my system, what I do in my van for power, I am drawing a wiring diagram. This is a system what everybody has in their vehicle or their van. This is alternator. In my case, I do have two 20 amps alternator. So this is a maximum current what alternator could produce me. And as I measure, the voltage what alternator gives is plus 14 volts. According to a VAX law, we have 3,000 80 watts. So totally from a system, what we could get, 3,080 watts. Then I build my system. I add three auxiliary batteries. Each battery I connect through a powerful switch and all switches sit on a bus. A bus is aluminum plate 4 mm thick and 55 mm width and it's about 300 mm long. So it's a good conductance and at the same time it a structural enforcement. Surely to connect the main power battery with a bus, I use a wire from a van battery and another switch sitting on a bus too. So this is my first energy switch which comes from alternator van's battery in the main bus. And then I do have 5000 watts power inventor. And the bus has a very thick aluminum channel what is connected, surely with a positive, which connects with a positive wire into 5000 watts positive power inventor. Since going with a negative to a chassis ground, of my van, it's not so important. So straight from a negative, I got all wires connected, as you saw on my video, directly into power inventor. On these schematics, it's very long wire, but actually, in the nature, it's a very short. What I want to say, using these four switches, I could connect to a power inventor batteries separately or all four batteries together. But when I start welding aluminum, I found a little problem that four batteries connected in a parallel, it's still not enough to start an arc. Arc is zero resistance. So to start an arc, it's a complete short on the whole circuit. What I did, I add boost capacitor. Okay? With a connection, positive, directly to a bus, and negative. And negative, I ground it to a chassis. Then as my system grow, I decide to use one battery auxiliary number three. So I put numbers here. This is a first battery. This is a second battery. And this is 
third battery. And this is original or zero battery, which comes from a van. Okay? So as my system grow, I tap here directly into positive a fuse, 30 amp fuse, and I use that fuse through a switch to inside cab lights. Because original cab lights, what you have on a van system, has a timer. And after about three minutes, if you switch your cab lights, after about two minutes, you have no lights absolutely. So that's basically it. Thanks for watching.